November 5th, 1999. Still at it. Haven't solved the mystery yet. But I did uh, yesterday and last night uh, find the things I was looking for that uh, I felt were truly there. The camera had been shut off twice and looking for the white frames. They are here on the film itself. This has not been spliced, touched in any way. This is film from frame one to frame 952. And right where I suspected there were the white frames, there's the stick being uh, slightly moved upward. Uh, the frame I'm looking at right now is the right foot of the creature stepping on the stick and it looks like it's moved up just slightly. So we're going to run on the screen tomorrow, Renee and I, and really check it out close. I, uh, I think we're going to find that that's exactly what's happening. By looking like this, you can barely see it moving. You go frame for frame. And when I crank it up, I go about 20 frames seems that that stick is in a different position than, than it was when she began walking by it. But we'll find out on the big screen tomorrow and we'll, we'll work on that more. I just want to take the opportunity while I, while I have the chance to, uh, to film this, to get it down the way it truly really happened. I'm entering some things here in, in my uh, logs and stuff on the computer, trying to store some of this information. Not that I would forget it, but... Uh, just in case. Uh, it's kind of neat, as you can see behind me, up above the uh, little monkey collection there, is the uh, original painting, the oil painting, that uh, Peter Boone gave me. It's a frame 352, done by a man named Jacobs in New York, back in uh, 75. And uh, Peter saw fit to let me have it. Try that trick at home. Pops here and there is there. Well, it's gone. Well, anyhow, as I was saying, I'm very, very, very happy to have this painting. Very, very. I'm also feel very privileged to make allows me to do this. Trust me, this is something else. Very important. But I'm, I'm really about ready to, to stop this for tonight. I, I do want to, like I say, project it tomorrow with the VCR on the big screen over there, and we'll, we'll get a, an accurate count on these steps. I just want to remember that tomorrow evening I'll get back on here and put the, the correct amount of steps, and then Renee can calculate out the, uh, the stride which, you know, we know the measurements from the ground and all that, but this will give the distance, the stride, how many steps, and the amount of time that elapses from the time she takes off from that stick to that, to that tree, because that is one given spot that we do know the distance from point A to point B. Things have all changed down there over the years. The logs have moved around, the trees, the bushes, and all that. Quite a bit of just Like Renee says, he... Uh, the person that has seen the film and knows the, what the site looks like, you think they can walk down there and find the film site, they can't. You walk right by it, it's just overgrown. Uh, brush is all moved in and grown up. And many things are moved around, so. So that's lost. I mean, you know, uh, people like Renee and, and others that have been there several times uh, could find the site, but it's relatively pointless now. Other than to say, well, I've been there, so been there, done that. So, with that, I think I'll shut this down for tonight. Go get some rest so we can uh, do some good work tomorrow. It's been a great week. Great week. So, we'll get back to you and give you uh, all the pertinent information that uh, we come up with, if any. Okay, see you later.
And what we're looking at there is that burn mark on that frame. Not the bottom, I think that's all we got. Maybe some water spotting, that might be what it is. So, uh, we'll count up and see what frame that is later. It's one of the clearer frames where she's heading towards the piece of wood directly in front of her. over to this tree here and as you can see here's the red bush I hope this is clear enough I'm not sure uh, the red bush here the middle tree when she gets right past that one all of a sudden is my white frame which I need to count up to and find out which frame it is and click when it comes back from the white frame she's on the other side of the red bush and much closer I have to uh, get that frame number because that's going to be important to have so it would be faster to get to for people that say they aren't here with me to for me to show them. There it shows up clearer there. The red bush is brighter. She's right there by the tree. I mean just going right by the very left edge of this white tree. And she'll step back. clear shot whether this is picking it up or not I don't know it appears through this viewfinder I'm using that you can see the creature there but I'm not quite sure she's still right there by the tree now she's backing up for a second. just to the right of the left tree. Just a dark spot probably in this lens. Just now moving back. As you can see she's part of the left tree now right in line 
with the edge of it and her arm is crossed so you can see her arm now she's blocking the tree there so she's definitely right there you can see you see this is where Roger's down in the creek bed and this is the sandbar it's nice and flat there although it seems like when you watch it that there's a maybe a hill but it's not he's just in the creek bed and being being five foot two he's shooting straight across that thing so you're getting an excellent image right here there she is right there by the tree I mean straight across the sandbar he's at eye level with her practically from the ground level but, you know not her eye level of course right there she is very clear frames right in through here and then you'll get boom you'll get a real bad one that's not bad there either good one another good one she's to the left of the tree now backing up towards us you can see a little bit of the light reflection on her back there no it's not a zipper you're seeing Good shot. Several good clear frames through here. I believe this is where Roger's still kneeling after he got the camera. Yeah, it is. Here, as you see to the bottom left hand corner, that's, that's Bluff Creek. That's the creek there. Roger's down in the creek bed where they came across, came around the corner of the log jam, and there she was down by the water here. And this is where she took off from by the time he got the camera. Of course, she was quite a ways away from the edge of the water. But this is where she actually was when they first saw her. Right here at the edge of the water. This dark spot being the creek. Bottom left corner. And contrary to popular belief, she was not kneeling down by the water in any of these frames. She had already been walking away. A lot of people said she was bent down there, but you never see that in the film. This this is the entire complete film. Every frame of it. this position where she was taking off from. She's right here. You see her two legs down in the white sandy area. Where you can't see her. She's right there, but you can't see her. Really a blurry frame here. Not too bad of one. She's right right about there. It's not quite clear enough to, to see without being right here with the movie scope. Same with that one blurry here. Now here comes Rogers. Just starting to film here. Just got his camera. She's right there. He's moving here. You can see the logs. And the water to the left still. Here's the creek eyes again. Coming down. That's a good clear frame. center. Well, top dead center. That was the first frame of the film. 
Bigfoot Bluff Creek, California. Copyright 1967, Roger Patterson, Robert Gimlin. So, that's the name of that tune. That's the very first frame. That's where he first got her into view. She's right there. The crick, you can see the best. This is the widest piece of footage, the widest shot of where the crick is. And it you know, comes right in, bluff creek comes right to there. And like I say, that's the, the bank of the river there, the creek. And he's down in the riverbed itself, the creek bed, looking, looking across. And uh, that's one heck of a view right there. Maybe not so in the video, but so on this movie scope, this is this is one yeah, of the better pictures I think. To back out of here now and do some frame counting to see what I come up with. Get back to you later.